If your Roblox FPS dropped after the 2026 patch, don't worry. Today, we're comparing Fish Strap versus Frost Strap to see which one gives the highest FPS, the lowest ping, and the smoothest gameplay right now. I'll show you the exact fast flex that actually work after the patch, so make sure you watch till the end. Let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Clear temporary files to free up space. First, press the Windows key and R key together on your keyboard. This will open a small box called the Run window. Inside that box, type temp and then press Enter. A folder will open that contains many junk files that your system no longer needs. You do not need to worry because these files are safe to delete. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything inside the folder, then press Delete. Some files may not delete because Windows is using them right now. That is normal. Just click skip when it happens and continue. Now, press Windows plus R again to open the Run window one more time. This time, type percent temp percent and press Enter. Another folder will open, and this folder also contains temporary files from Roblox and other programs. Just like before, select everything using Ctrl plus A, then delete all the files. If some files cannot be deleted, simply skip them. After doing this, you have freed up space on your PC and reduced background clutter, which helps your system run faster and gives you smoother Roblox performance. Step 2. Boost Roblox FPS Using Fish Strap and Fast Flag settings, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we are going to use the latest Fish Strap settings to improve Roblox performance and boost FPS. Fish Strap allows you to control deep performance settings that reduce lag and make Roblox run more smoothly. First, Go to your Fish Strap folder and open the Fish Strap application. When it opens, you will see many different sections. Let's go through them slowly and clearly. In the integration section, this works similarly to Block Strap, but comes with even more features. You can view player logs, which means you can see which players join or leave your game. This is very useful if you manage games or private servers. Fish Strap also supports Discord presence, so Discord shows that you are playing Roblox. Next is the Bootstrapper section. This feature allows you to rename Roblox and enable multi-instance loading, which means you can play Roblox on two accounts at the same time. This feature existed in Blockstrap before, but Fishstrap handles it more reliably now. After that, go to the Deployment section. This section controls Roblox updates. It also lets you roll back Roblox to an older version using a version hash, which is very useful if a new Roblox update causes lag or performance problems. Now move to the Mods section. Here, you can change default Roblox sounds, switch back to old character models, edit fonts, and manage fast flags, which are very important for FPS boosting. The fast flag section is the most important part of Fish Strap. It is well organized and lets you use presets or import your own custom fast flags. One very important option here is disable Roblox telemetry. This turns off background tracking features that Roblox runs, and you should definitely enable this for better performance. To apply the best fast flags, find the fast flag file from your FPS boost pack. Open the file and copy all of the text inside it. Then open Fish Strap as administrator. Click Add New, JSON, paste the copied text, and click OK. After that, click Yes, then Yes again, and the fast flags will be added. Finally, click Save to apply everything. Now scroll down to Rendering and Graphics Settings. Set Anti Aliasing Quality to 1, enable Disable Player Shadows, and set Frame Limit to 0 if you want Roblox's built in limit or 99,999 if you want uncapped FPS. For rendering mode, choose Vulkan or Direct 3D10. Both work well, but Vulkan usually gives better FPS. For texture quality, choose Low or Level 2 for the best performance. In the Roblox menu section, you do not need to change anything. It is already optimized, and changing options here can reset them to default, so it is better to leave everything as it is. In the Appearance section, you can customize your Roblox icon or style if you want. If it says Downloading, do not worry. This does not affect performance. When you load Roblox using Fish Strap, it may take a few seconds longer to open, but everything will look the same as before, just much faster, smoother, and with higher FPS. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, 
and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 3. Use Frost Strap and Fast Flags to boost Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's talk about Frost Strap, which is one of the newest and strongest Roblox launchers after the recent Roblox updates. Frost Strap gives massive performance improvements, especially for low end and mid range PCs, and works even better after the latest Roblox patch. First, download Frost Strap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack or from its official website. After installing it, search for Froststrap in the Windows search bar and open it. Click on Configure Settings so you can start changing everything for maximum FPS and stability. In the Integrations tab, enable Activity Tracking, Query Server Location, Playtime Counter, and Game History menu. These options help Froststrap optimize memory usage, monitor ping, and keep Roblox running smoothly, especially during long gaming sessions. Next, go to the Bootstrapper tab. Set File Deletion Schedule. To see, after two months, and enable cache cleanup, logs move, and enable frost strap logs. These settings automatically clean old Roblox files and improve loading speed. Now move to the Mods tab. Turn off. Use old avatar editor background and emulate old character sounds. Keep the mouse cursor set to default and set preferred emoji type to default, Twemoji. These settings remove unnecessary effects that can lower FPS. After that, go to the fast flag settings. Set Anti-Aliasing Quality RMAA, to 2x for smooth visuals without hurting performance. Enable Pause, Weather, Gray Sky, Disable Grass and Low Poly Meshes, and set Rendering Mode to Vulcan. These fast flags remove heavy graphics and give a massive FPS boost, especially on weaker PCs. In the Appearance tab, set App Theme to Dark and Window Backdrop to Mika. Keep Custom App Font as Default and Language as English US, to reduce GPU usage and keep everything stable. Finally, go to the Fast Flags editor. Click, I know what I'm doing, then add a new Fast Flag configuration. Open your FPS Boost Pack, copy the Fast Flags text file, paste it into Froststrap, and click OK to save. After testing both launchers, Froststrap clearly gives much better performance, with FPS jumping from around 120 FPS to over 560 FPS, smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and better consistency even after the Roblox patch. Step 4. Use Quick CPU to make your CPU run at full speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU is the most important part of your computer because it controls how fast everything runs, including Roblox. Windows normally slows your CPU down to save power, but for gaming, you want your CPU running at full speed. That is why we will use a tool called Quick CPU. First, download and install Quick CPU, then open it. At the top, find the Power Plan drop-down menu and select Ultimate Performance, which is made for gaming and heavy programs like Roblox. Scroll down and set the sliders exactly like this. Core Parking to 100%, which keeps all CPU cores active. Performance to 100%, so your CPU always runs at full power. Frequency Scaling to 100%, so your CPU does not slow down randomly. Turbo Boost to 100%, which allows your CPU to run faster when Roblox needs more power. After setting everything, click Apply, then OK Now open Advanced CPU Settings and make sure Turbo Boost and EIST are turned on. Turbo Boost gives extra power when needed, and EIST helps manage CPU performance efficiently. Once finished, close Quick CPU. The settings will stay active in the background. From now on, your CPU will run at full speed giving you smoother gameplay, less stuttering, and more FPS in Roblox. Step 5. Clean shader cache and VRAM cache to remove micro stutters. Press the Windows key, search for disk cleanup, and open it. Select your main drive, which is usually C. Check the box for DirectX shader cache, then click OK to start cleaning. Next, press Windows plus R, type percent local app data, backslash NVIDIA, backslash GL cache, and press Enter. Delete everything inside that folder. These files are safe to remove and help reduce lag. After that, open command prompt as administrator and type ipconfig slash flush dns, then press enter. This clears the DNS cache. Next, go to percent local app data percent temp and delete all files inside that folder. Finally, restart your PC. Windows will rebuild all the caches properly. 
After doing this, your system will be fully optimized for Roblox, giving you smoother gameplay, less stuttering, and much better overall performance.